A couple months back, I filmed a vlog about my daily life as a remote designer, and in that vlog, I was knee deep in a season where I was doing a lot of video production, a lot of animation stuff for the startup that I work at. I promised you in that vlog that if I felt confident about animation, that I would do tutorial on it. Well, guess what? Today is not that day. I am not 100% confident about animation, but I have learned some cool tips and tricks along the way, and I wanted to share one of those with you today. <laughs> you thought I was 100%. Today we're gonna to be doing some animated SVGs, building them in Sketch, animating them a little bit in After Effects, and then exporting them out and implementing them into a website. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by the awesome people over at Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a bootcamp experience that offers an immersive on-campus and online program for people who wanna start a new career in design or development. The tech field is booming right now. Let's be honest, it's not gonna stop anytime soon. So if you're interested in learning web development, iOS development, UX design in an immersive 13 week program that'll spit you out career ready, then check the link down in the description and check out Dev Mountain. The first thing you'll see on my screen is that I'm looking at Lottie by the people over at Airbnb. Uh, Lottie is a package that allows people to create animations in After Effects and then easily implement them into iOS, Android, or React applications. We're gonna be using Body Movin, which is a plugin for After Effects that allows us to export to JSON. And we're also gonna be using a Sketch plugin, which allows us to create things in Sketch and then move them over. So if you click on that link, you will head over to the Lottie Web uh, GitHub repository, and you scroll down, you can see the plugin installation. One of the ways that you can do it is to either get it from the Adobe store or you can get it from um, the AE Scripts um, like store basically. You can go right here to aescripts.com and you can just put in zero dollars if you want. That's the first thing you're gonna need. The next thing you're gonna need is a uh, a plugin called Sketch to AE. Now there's a couple of different plugins called Sketch to AE, but you're gonna want this one put out by the people over at Google. And so Sketch to AE is by the people at Google. It's a free thing to download and it allows you to um, actually export your layers over to After Effects and then you can export those elements out as an animated SVG if the element was an SVG. When you download this package like we've just done and open up the the zip file, you'll notice that it has a few things. It has a Sketch to AE plugin, that's the actual Sketch plugin you just double click to install. It also has a .jsx file, which is a plugin for Adobe After Effects. There's really just a couple of instructions on how to install the Sketch file and how to install the After Effects file. It's really, really easy, so you just follow those instructions on the plugin website and you'll be good to go. Here we are in After Effects, we're just gonna create a new composition. So we're gonna take all the layers that we need by just selecting the group called school, head up to plugins and go to sketch to AE. We're gonna press copy selected layers. The screen is gonna flash. You'll see down at the bottom it says it's copied one layer to the clipboard, okay? Well now we're gonna kick back over to After Effects and if you installed that .jsx file, if you head up to the window file here in After Effects and go all the way down, you'll see sketch to AE is inside of that menu. We click on it, it opens up our plugin menu, and we're gonna select this red button that says paste layer data from the clipboard. You just click it, press Command V, and paste that information in. That's all JSON information. And then you're going to build the layers and watch the magic happen. Okay, the layers have been built, and you'll notice it's not 100% perfect, it's like 99.9% .9 perfect. Our flag is just a little bit off, so we're gonna move that into place, but what's really cool is that each of these are actually vector you know, shape layers, okay? So they're not like images that have been rasterized, they are perfect SVG lines. And so that's exactly what we wanted. And now we're gonna do a little bit of animating. We'll zoom out and we will just play it. So we just have an endless loop, endless child walking the halls. Sounds pretty good. We're pretty much all set here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna use that awesome body moving plugin to export this out and actually implement it into a working website. 
After you're all done with your project, to use Body Move, and you go up to the window and down to the extensions uh, menu item and scroll out and you'll see Body Move in right there. We're gonna click that and open it up and we get a separate panel. This is the Body Move and plugin that's integrated right here into After Effects. So it shows us that we have a composition called School. We're just gonna select it. You'll even notice everything about the Body Move and plugin has schmancy animations on it as well. So um, just rolling over anything gives you fancy animations. Um, so we are going to give it a destination We've selected it and now we're just going to give it a destination of desktop. You'll see that body movement is going to name a file data.json. JSON is just an informational file type and it's going to export all the math of the SVG out to that JSON file. So we have that selected. We'll just do it out onto the desktop and uh, let's see. We want to now check the settings. It's going to export it as a glyph. So that's really that's exactly what we want. We don't want to split the comp into multiple JSON files. We don't want to do anything complicated. It's going to be a single glyph, but we also, for demo purposes, we're going to hit the demo button as well. It's going to export it as an HTML for local preview. So we're going to press save and we're going to press render and all the magic is going to happen. So now we can just say that we're done with that and we can go out to our desktop. You can see here on my desktop, I have a data.json file and my demo.html. I'm just going to click the demo.html file and open it up in the browser. And you can see right there in the browser, we have this massive animated SVG. This is not a GIF. It's not a video file. It's just animated math, which is rad. But this doesn't look much like a website. And also, if we open up the code inside of our text editor, like Visual Studio Code is what I'm using right now, you'll see that this code is super messy. It has all of this code at the top that's creating this local server. And then it has this one div inside called Lottie. And that is actually where it is, you know, our, our JavaScript is placing our animated SVG inside. But then down below that, we have all this other like really gross code that we pretty much do not need. So next step is we're gonna take the pieces out of this code that we really need and implement it into any website we want. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do to create our site is we're just gonna create a new folder and we'll call it school. And uh, we're gonna open that folder up in Visual Studio Code. So we have our code editor open. We're going to create a new file called index.html and uh, we're just going to put some filler HTML inside of it, like school in the title, and we're pretty much ready to go, right? Now what we're going to do is kick back over to our desktop and we're going to copy this data.json file into our school project. So now you can see we have data.json and we have our index file. If you were interested in looking inside of the data.json file, it's a mess. It's a bunch of random math. You don't want to look at it. It's really, really ugly. So don't do that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be going off of that demo page we looked at and we're going to be creating a div with an ID of Lottie. It can be named anything you want, but we're going to do it just as it was inside of the demo. Um, but we noticed when we looked back at our demo page that it's massive. We're not controlling it anyway. So why don't we just put it inside of a div with an ID of container. We'll just wrap um, our Lottie div inside of that. And then we could actually put like some content inside there and do some stuff with it. So we could put an H1 that says school and we could put a little paragraph tag with some lorem inside of it. So, so far so good. We have some basic HTML on the page, but we're not accessing that JSON file and getting that SVG on there yet. How do we do that? Well, to do that, we want to basically mimic what was going on, on that demo page. We want to add a script tag uh, and inside of that script tag, we're going to add a little bit of JavaScript. You could do this in an external JavaScript file if you want. I'm just going to do it right here on the page so you can see. I'm going to bump up my text editor a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and we're going to store some information inside. It's going to be called animation. It's going to be equal to uh, the body move in method. Okay. So we're going to call the method. We're going to say load animation. That's not how you spell animation. So we're going to load the animation and then inside of it, we're going to open up some curly brackets like that. And now we can put any parameters for our body moving stuff inside of here. So we want to put a container parameter and uh, we're going to use a little bit of JavaScript and just say document dot get element by ID and then we're going to open up our parentheses and we're going to put Lottie inside of it. 
So now, so what JavaScript is gonna be telling the browser is that the container for our object is going to be in an element with an ID of Lottie. Hey, we have one of those right there. So that's where it's gonna show up. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're just gonna to wanna to declare the renderer and uh, we're gonna render -er, and we're gonna say um, that the renderer is gonna be SVG. That's basically the type of information that it's rendering. Uh, we'll do a comma there. We're gonna want our animation to loop, so we'll say loop true. Uh, we're gonna want it to start automatically, right? So we wanna do autoplay and we'll type true in there as well. And lastly, we're gonna give the path to where this uh, element can be found or where the information is stored or can be found. And that is right there. It's not in any sort of like other file anywhere else. We don't have to go into inside of any other directory. We just need to go right here inside of our data.json. We should be all good. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a style tag just for some basic styling. So we're gonna save this and to launch this and actually see it, we are gonna to have to spin up a local server. I'm gonna use MAMP Pro to do that. Okay, so we've just created our local server environment right here and we're restarting my local server. And now that I have it set up, I'm just going to launch it in the browser and it's almost there. It's not working in the browser, our animation is not showing up, and when I come back and look at my code, I think it's because I forgot before this script tag to add the script that jumps out and grabs the actual body moving JavaScript. So we actually need to call the JavaScript that's gonna be doing the work and processing all of this information down here, otherwise these commands mean absolutely nothing. Okay, now that we've pasted in our JavaScript code, we should be able to press command S head back over to the browser and refresh. And there it is, we have our schoolhouse animating on our website. As I close my browser window, you can see that it's responsive, like I mean really responsive, all the way down to the smallest sizes. It's gonna do the math for us because the browser is so smart. Oh, that's amazing. This is not an impressive website by any means, but it should show you the capabilities of this like workflow and this method of getting cool animated SVGs into your project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check the description for all the helpful links that I mentioned in the video, as well as that link to Dev Mountain. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and trying out new workflows to really amp up your projects. I'll see you guys in the next one.